Hello, welcome to XCPA channel. Today we have a very exciting tax tip we want to share with you in year 2021. And perhaps this groundbreaking news may change the way you do business in year 2021. Want to find out more? Please stay tuned. All right, so the next part is seeing if my books is ready to do some tax planning. What the heck is this? Anyway, you know, that really looks like a sandwich right there. Huh, maybe that's a sign that maybe we should get some food instead? Oh, I agree. Food does sound good. Maybe we can get something like steak or seafood. Mmm, definitely would love some seafood right now. Maybe some salmon or tuna. Oh no, they're back again. Uh-uh-uh. You and I both know that meals are 50% deductible, so we can't go too crazy on our meal. Because it's been cheap. Yeah, look, I love food as much as the next person, but it's also very expensive, and I'd rather not spend a lot of money on brunch. Thank you very much. So I guess you haven't heard about the latest update the IRS just made. Update? What update? The IRS finally decided to audit you finally? No, because unlike you, I don't claim my pets as dependents. Look, I don't have time for another pointless squabble, alright? So what is this update from the IRS anyway? <sighs> Alright, taxpayers certainly in Disaster Tax Relief Act of 2020. For 2021 and 2022, the full cost of food and beverages provided by a restaurant as a business meal is deductible as a business expense. So, what does that mean? Let me tell you what that means. Expenses for food and beverages provided by a restaurant as a business meal in 2021 and 2022 are fully deductible, which means 100% deductible. Not 50, but 100%. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Wait, really? So we all had a business meeting at a restaurant right now. That means it's 100% deductible? That means we can have steak and seafood. Talk about win-win for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. When the heck did they make that change? Uh, fairly recently. Look at it yourself. Look it up, he says. I'll, I'll look you up, all right. I'll look you up right up in the... Oh. He's right. Pfft. Right. That means that I can do tax planning and continue this ridiculous conversation at brunch. So, let's go. I'm buying. Ugh, fine. Might as well. Sounds good to me. I'm definitely super hungry right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. So in order for business owners to claim business meals, you need to document who did you eat with, when did you eat, what's the purpose, and why did you have the business meal, and where did you go. And it is also recommended for you to keep the receipt. You can scan it and make sure that you have the record to substantiate your business meals. Documentation is key here for you to stay out of trouble with the IRS. If you want more tax tips, please be sure to check out this channel. Thank you so much for your support. As usual, please like, share, and subscribe, and we will appreciate it very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.